Battle Heart um, Alito or Ganyum, I think that's how you pronounce it. You know, I thought that it was like a whole movie on its own, but it's actually a two episode anime that was only adapted to only the first um, two volumes of the, you know, manga and everything. And, you know, for the time that it came out, I feel like it's cool, in my opinion. I love um all these old animation types of anime so i feel like you know it's aged really well just as someone who's semi new but not the same time watching these old adaptation animes are really great and it's refreshing me to see because all these new animes with great animations not to um you know say that they're bad but it's just like seeing animes like these with great but old adaptations it's just like it's so good to see in my opinion but yeah, for being just only two episodes, I think I would just give this sort of, of a movie because I feel like originally it's supposed to be a movie. So I'll give this a good, a good solid like six, maybe seven, seven out of ten. It's just only adapted for the first two because I wanted to see. Well, for some reason it's only two, but I want to see one more that for Galley and her adventures. Um, you know welcome to be but um it's only in the first two that you get to see the scientist or, ro or cybernetic uh, surgeon found her rebuild her and she's this loving adorable little cyborg um who just enjoys her life for the most part and so she messes boy and like hugo and there's other other complications of like her past like she has no memory she can't recall or anything but she has like this feeling before that whenever she fought for the first time she felt like something like in herself like was alive that's like like wow like i feel like this is like my life and everything she decided to become a hunter and actually um you know hunt some bad guys and everything for like money becoming essentially becoming a bounty hunter until the second episode with Hugo and everything being um, one of those spine freaks that steals spines and just like sells it for money. And there is this other um, factor of like living in this world that they live in like this scrapyard or this dump of the area that they live in. They want to go to this one place. I know it's not Zootopia. It's like Zeperon. It's like something with a Z. I, my brain keeps processing it and keep thinking it's like, it's like Zootopia, but no. But this whole other place that's so much better that where this cybernetic doctor left from was not a good or a promising place that, you know, that everybody wants to wants it to be when they go up there. It really isn't. There's no more, there's no more further context behind of why the people that have been there already saying that how the locals under under like under that place wants to go there and not live in a complete wasteful life out of of dump but i wanted to see way more of this but it does have some cool elements of be of um <clears throat> of being a little bit of like sci-fi ish because you know it's like semi in the future it has to do with robotic stuff and everything so that's really cool it's just like for me watching like ghost in the shell but in a whole different uh, like universe when people live like this but nonetheless it's really good in my opinion you know i suggest just watching just the first two you know in my opinion it's not bad at all i decided to watch this in dub because fuck like i might as well watch everything in like dub instead of sub because i don't know it's like kind of get it's like annoying to me watching reading it and sub like i don't know man i feel like it's a great adaptation and i feel like excuse me in my opinion it should be just watching a dub nothing n nothing else besides that but you can choose you know nothing wrong with that but yeah it's a decent um anime or a movie i don't know what the call is because i thought originally this was a movie that was you know ad adaptated and like you know actual movie format but you know that's just me on that but nonetheless it's a good you know show i guess i i could say it like that it's a good show to watch um you know disappointed to see there's another furthermore with galley's adventures besides the loss of hugo um i really wanted to see more of this because it was getting really interesting and i want to see what more um galley was going to do with her life outside of you know losing hugo but yeah guys if you guys have watched um battle angel alita or um gun or gundam uh i don't know how to pronounce it but 
yeah, if you guys have watched it, let me know what you guys think. If not, that's okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. Take care, stay safe, and yeah, later.